all right, water crossing. <laughs> June 1st through September 30th for water rights for the animals because there's a uh, sheep or something. What uh, animals are up here for why they close it from June to September?
Anza Borrego. By 1850, it was a familiar narrative. European American settlers were once again encroached on Indian land. This time it happened here in Southern California when the U.S. government tried to tax local Indians. Cupeno Antonio Gara had enough. Gara encouraged a coordinated multi tribe resistance, scattered violence, including an attack on J.J. Warner's Rancho, put San Diego and the surrounding countryside in fear of all out war. The American response grew more robust and the Indian coalition weakened. The capture of several Indian leaders along with military attacks on Indians sheltering here in Coyote Canyon broke the rebellion. The trial of Antonio Gara capped a year of Indian hope and settler hysteria. Gara died by firing squad bravely divided or defeated. The tribes had been swept up in the rebellion found it, it futile to resist encroachment. In 1903 the U.S. government removed Gara's Cupeño's people to a reservation. The sun last, sun's last rays were lingering on Point Loma whilst bells of the neighboring church chimed vespers. In an instant, the soul of a truly brave man winged to regions of eternity, accompanied by melancholy howling of dogs, aware of the solemnity, casting a gloom over the assembled hundreds, San Diego Herald, January 7th, 1852. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, I believe a lot. <laughs> of course, I didn't bring my... I forgot my my gimbal, so this is going to be a little shaky cam. Oh, well. Yeah. Gimbals are very useful for video. It just makes it so much more watchable. Oh, neat. Look at these, this plant life. Wow. Yep. That's where they, uh, they must have camped right there. And there must be a spring there. But I mean, look at this greenery. This is ridiculous. And supposedly the desert. Who knew? <laughs> and you have trees that are dead now because it's going to dead the dormant. Yep. See what this thing says. This spring area was named by Captain Juan Batista de Anza. When his overland exploration party camped here on March 14, 1774, during the opening of the Anza Trail from Sonora into Alta, California. Anza's colonizing expedition of 1775 consisted of 240 persons and over 800 head of livestock camped here the night of December 23rd. California registered historical landmark number 785 plaque placed by the California State Park Commission in cooperation with the Squibob chapter Clampus Vitus E. Clampus Vitus April 2063 that's crazy that's a lot of food Yeah, it's pretty neat. I mean, who? I never knew that this place existed. I didn't either. Don't you think that would be Spring Canyon? Or... More of the wrong side of the mountain for that. I bet you come out here in June and all of this is brown. That has to be Spring Canyon. No, no. No, no, there's going to be lots think? of flowers this year. Lots of flowers. In all the way through June? Mm, no. You don't think it'll be brown? No, it'll be nice through uh, quite a minute. Yeah. Okay. All right, it's ER2 SoCal. So we're back at third crossing, and uh, we're going to check it out on foot real quick before we head out of Coyote Canyon. So it's ER2 SoCal. Check it out. How deep is it? 
yeah. How cute. <laughs> yeah, looks like they uh, tried to dam it a little bit. That'll all be gone. Oh, they take a nice dump. trees are huh up there you think no, or is it closer I think it's where those trees were because it was all underground from above it yeah yeah they sure are so that's got to be where the, the stream is uh, for the fun of it to make try to make a fun yeah to try and get wet it's hard to 